Hello friends, today we are going to discuss human security and peace building. So here we are going to study the human security and peace building. So before we study the, this chapter, human security and peace building, what are the structure of this chapter? So these are the structure, introduction is the main chapter main point first point aims and objectives human security U UNDP's United Nations Development Report 1994 definition economic security food security health security environmental security personal security community security and political security freedom from fear versus freedom from want and beyond the Canadian approach limitation of, of an all encompassing human security peace building pre conflict peace building post conflict peace building summary etc <coughs> so before we start the questions and discussion so let's start the discussion over the human security and peace building so introduction part let's start million of people have been killed by wars and conflicts war destroyed lives causes some misery and displacement to million Millions militarize societies and men set back development and destroy creativity, culture and ideas. In the recent decades, there has been a decline in large interstate wars like the First and Second World Wars. However, the armed conflict of this decade are primarily internal or interstate wars unlike the interstate wars of the previous decades. Peace building thus has to be applicable to such inter interstate conflicts. Research as well as experience reveals that ensuring human security is positive and concrete step that contribute to peace building. Between the human security and peace building and links it to Gandhi's ideas on peace since time immemorial sorry immemorial mankind had been searching for an idea for ideal society where man can lead happier worthier and rewarding life political thinkers like monu Kautilya, and plato aristotle hobbes Locke, rousseau hegel karl marx and gandhi considered the social and cultural presupposition of the ideal of political order an ideal society can only be possible if we understand the root causes of war and armed conflict, understand their multi-dimensional nature and then devote our time and efforts to the peace and security of the world. Without peace, no nation, no individual can move forward. In a peaceful atmosphere, mankind can secure greater heights. A society without peace is like life in the state of nature and brutish barbaric short short dull and nasty as hobbes pointed out in his political theory on the origin of the state everyone professes desires for peace as an ultimate goal but is willing to take up arms to retain his power this prompts the need to find out as to what conditions are necessary to ensure enduring peace disarmaments and armed control cannot be pursued for their own sake but their objectives must be peace, security will be natural consequence of peace, but reverse is not necessarily true. Nations consider the military might is totally necessary to ensure peace. As a result, militarism has a multiplied both as an ideology that relies on the use of force to resolve disputes and materially through the questions of dangerous weapons. History has witnessed major wars but wars cannot bring peace retaliation only causes counter retaliation peace can be brought out only by non-violent means and expressed by mahatma gandhi because in the violent environment and human beings cannot have a secure and peaceful condition of life now another point that is human security the human security and arms race is likely a spiral because once it begins it becomes a spiral and gains its own momentum peace cannot be achieved unless the use of violence for settling human conflicts is replaced with non-violent means 
This was repeatedly expressed by Mahatma Gandhi. Just as peace does not mean an absence of war but means peace with justice and dignity similarly. The term non-violence should be understood not just as an absence of physical injury but an active force of love towards all creatures including humans and elements and plants. Human security is an emerging paradigm for understanding the global vulnerabilities whose proponents challenges traditional notion of national security. Human security has that a people-centered view of security is necessary for national and regional and global stability. The concept of human security emerged in the post of Cold War period when a peace dividend was expected, but the number of interstate conflicts inter increased even though the interstate conflict declined. With this multidisciplinary understanding of the security involving different security threats evolved, the United Nations Development Program 1994 Human Development Report is considered a milestone publication in the field of human security. The report laid emphasis on freedom from want and freedom from fear for all. These freedom are considered as the best path to tackle the problem of global insecurity. This search for peace and security in a world market by extreme economic and social and cultural heterogeneity better built by self aggrandizing states which go to war against each other, occasionally plunging the world into the senseless destruction has inspired many proposals for creating one true world where every individual is at peace. The search for peace is also within state that are marked by ethnic, religious and other kind of conflicts obtained states themselves have been entrenched a light that repress change leading to conflicts. Human security paradigm suggests a multi-dimensional way of resolving conflicts by guaranteeing security. So these are the discussion of human security and peace building. So another discussion next uh, I will start in the next video that is UNDP United Nations Development Program 1994 definition. So United Nations Development Program I will discuss in the next video. So if you like this video like it and share it. Thank you all.